And the Senate's passage of the Inflation Reduction Act comes as a much uh, the, as the country needs to feel the heat of inflation, especially parents as they shop for those back to school supplies. Queen City News reporter Sydney Heiberger is live in Midtown tonight. Sydney, communities are finding unique ways to help out. Right, we have seen plenty of school supply drives popping up around our area. Just today, WWE Hall of Famer Ricky Morton was at Coolwood STEM Academy in Northwest Charlotte for a wrestling event slash school supply drives. But unfortunately, with the inflation that we have been talking about, these drives can only do so much. You felt the pain at the pump, at the grocery store, and now, shopping for school supplies. The National Retail Federation expects back to school spending will increase 36% this year compared to 2019. And parents say they're feeling the pressure. Paying more than what I was a kid, let's say it like that, but still need them no matter what. Gotta get them for the kids. A study from Yahoo Finance revealed 78% of parents say they would cut back on discretionary spending to be able to afford school supplies. 50% were concerned about being able to afford school supplies at all, and 25% say they aren't confident in their ability to afford school field trips. It's why events like these are popping up around the community. We are going through changes in our society and it's really hard for uh, for people, especially people who have multiple children, to get everything they need. At Coolwood STEM Academy, a wrestling event. The price of admission, donated backpacks and supplies. You always perform at your best when you've got good supplies, you got a crisp new notebook to open up. But for parents who won't be relying on donations, it's a burden they say they'll just have to bear. It is a little frustrating sometimes when you have to buy, 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 buy. And it gets a little expensive. But also, it's from a little girl, so. Right, the National Retail Federation says families can expect to spend an average of $864 on school supplies this year. That is an increase of $15 from last year and an increase of $168 more since the pandemic started. Sydney Heiberger, Queen City News.